John here guys and today we're talking about the iFlight Cinebe 75 HD. Um, so I got sent this for review and I was really excited because there's several things that come in this little Cinewoop that I have been wanting to try. Um, and first of all, let's go over the components in this thing. It is your standard Cinemoop thing, but this has the new iFlight Success 16 by 16 stack. Now we reviewed the 20 by 20 6S. This is the smaller one that's meant for uh, 4S, up to 4S supposedly. It's super tiny. You can see the three layers in there. And this is also equipped with the Cadex Turtles 2 HD camera with the nice lens on there. Check that lens out, very nice. And uh, they have went a different approach than a lot of the Cinewoops. They've actually put the Cadex Turtles board that's required to run this HD camera on the bottom. And the other thing I really, really like is that there is a slot that locks the SD card in. So in a crash, you're not gonna have to worry about that thing being ejected. This is running your standard whoop style ducks, and these are 40 millimeter props. I believe these are the gym fans that come with this thing. In the box, you also get a couple of little extras. Now this thing comes equipped with a dipole antenna, and you have these nice little antenna tubes that run the receiver antennas for the FR Sky XM Plus that comes pre-installed. In there you can see it's like just on the side right there. I love the way that they've mounted all of the antennas and the receiver for this thing. It's very convenient. It comes with the little controller that you need to control the Cadex Turtles camera. Uh, it comes with some extra props. These are kind of like those TBS style, I'm not sure. And uh, then you get some extra little hardware in case you lose some of those screws. This is actually really nice and convenient. You can also get an extra strap. So plenty of goodies that come in there along with some stickers, iFlight and Cinebe 75 HD. So if you've ever had a 75 millimeter drone like the Mobula 7 or the Beta 75X or 75 Pro, uh, Pro 2, it's essentially the same exact size but it does not fly the same exact way these are actually quite nice motors it says on their b motor these are 1103 10,000 kb motors now these motors would be perfect on a toothpick class build but unfortunately this is much much heavier than that i'll put the weight on the screen of this thing but this is way heavier than something like the Beta 75 Pro 2. And so because of all that additional weight, um, at least with a 2S battery, now I've been flying it with my Toothpick class batteries. I have a 300 and a 450 milliamp 2S tattoo pack. These are 75C, so this is a good battery. Um, and it fits really nice on the top there, as you can see, but this combination is very heavy and it flies not good. It's not fun to fly at all. Uh, it flies kind of like if you ever played Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10, and they would kind of, you know, go from continent to continent on this air barge. It feels like that. It feels like you're flying a boat. You have very little control, very little authority. You can tell that you should not even attempt to do like a power loop. You should not even attempt to do any sort of nose down move. And this lens is very exposed and it, it, it looks like it may be glass. Now that's gonna translate to some better looking footage, but not to some better looking flight. Now. Notably, this can take a 3S battery, so if you wanted that extra performance, uh, you should put that 3S battery. But here's why I'm going to run mine on 2S. Yes, it's not that easy to control, but with all that extra weight, it does 
actually translate to something that's easy to fly slow and smooth. That weight in the air means that even with something this relatively light, heavy for a whoop, but light for a quad, it's not gonna blow around as much and you want that. Now, when you are turning, you do get a little bit of extra yaw um, kind of wash out and that takes a little bit to get used to. But even on my first few packs, I was getting nice smooth footage. So I took this out to a race day to fly it around some of the guys, get some footage of the track a couple times, flew it in my house. So let's take a look at the footage. Do I recommend this? Uh, if you had to have some HD footage and you had to take it indoors or you had to take it very close to people and you wanted it to be able to bump into something like a person and not hurt them, yeah, this will do it. I think it's a little bit too heavy to be bumping it into your walls in your house or, your, or, or worse, your TV. I, I don't really recommend flying it for fun in your house. If you wanted to get like a little tour of your house or something and you didn't want to walk, you could do this. I don't know why you would want to do that. Uh, outside, it's perfectly fine. You could get footage that's almost as smooth as like a DJI. Now the camera quality, I haven't messed with the settings on the turtles. So this is how it comes out of the box. Now you can go with your little turtles menu and adjust the record settings, but I wanted to see how this flies. I didn't adjust the PIDs, all I did was bind it. Now binding it was a little bit tricky because of the heat shrink that they put on. It kind of covered the bind button, but it wasn't that bad. Once I got it bound, it was, it was good to go. I really do like the design of this better than some of the other Cinewhoop options that put the Turtles camera on top. I like that it has a SD card that is easily accessible, easily removable. And, uh, but who is this for? It's for people that almost like you wanted a DJI Spark, but a little bit cheaper and able to fly it a little bit more places. Now, if you do fly this thing indoors, it is loud. So if you're like me and sometimes you fly in the house, once everyone's gone to sleep, this could wake someone up. It, it's pretty loud and you crash, you're gonna hear that thing, this weight um, bumping into the walls. Um, but if, if you are that person that wants that HD footage, I mean, it really is probably what I would choose as the best option. Um, I do love all the other components on here. Like I really wanna steal this stack and these motors <laughs> and put them on a toothpick. Uh, but I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna keep flying this a little bit more because it really is nice to have that capability to get some HD footage um, around people, close to people. So I really will try to show weaving that around. But uh, what do you guys think in the comments? So far of all of the Cinewhoop things, this is kind of the best option. I like that it has a carbon fiber top plate instead of like a little canopy. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of protection for the camera, but the motors are well protected and this these plastic um, ducts are a lot stiffer uh, But still a little bit flexible, but they seem a lot stronger than what normally comes on whoop class stuff So it's kind of the size and shape of your standard whoop, but it is a little bit beefier That does translate to weight that's not gonna have you doing power loops, but I think most people that buy this thing aren't really looking for those power moves. They're looking for that smooth HD footage in a small package that can go anywhere. And this really is that. So nice job iFlights. Um, I'm really enjoying the SuxX stacks. I'm actually building another one right now, the 20 by 20 version. I'm gonna run 6S this time. So look forward to that. Thanks guys. Cinematic. Alright, I'm gonna go up F2 real quick. 